Come on, come on, come on. Yes, <laughs> I'm doing a lot more better than I did last time. <laughs> I remember back then when I used to have been really bad at this game. Oh, I guess you can say I still am. That's not gonna change the fact that I'm gonna get this really hardcore victory right here. Hey, uh, boss. What? What it? What is it? Huh? Oh uh, well, um, I, I was just going to. I was just, you know, doing reportive status on, uh, you know how, uh, Warrior Wally, you're doing, because you know, their thing, right? Right? Ah well, yes, that is true. Well, thank you for giving me the status, though. But, ugh, jeez, Louise. You got something here. What do you mean, like figuring out, like figuring out? Uh, oh, oh, oh! Are you? Oh, are you still trying to figure out what game are you trying to play, or like? Yes, exactly. I'm still trying to figure out what game to play, even though there are a plethora of games that I have seen, but I don't think we even have those games. I mean, you know, even though we're making the money and all that types of stuff out of this show. We're not using it for the actual games that we play, we're just using it to make the show look better. Like the fact that, you know, in the previous episode we were able to do a full-on recording of us, me and Boris, walking down a street and going to get some candy for the kids, you know? Now we're kind of just left with nothing. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, I see. Well, I'm pretty sure that you'll find something around the internet. Well, anyways, uh... I'll see you later. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go uh, check on, you know, the Wari Wawiji. That makes it any better. Oh yeah, also, uh, just in case, do you plan on holding anyone else uh, here other than those two? Uh, possibly, but I don't guarantee it. Wario Waluigi are kind of, in some way, the star of the show when it came to what kind of videos they were making on this channel. But, uh, who knows? Possibly. Possibly. But we're gonna have to keep searching and searching if you want to do that. Hey, other than that, uh, just go back to the business of what you were doing and all types of stuff. I'll sit here and think of the game other than just playing darn old Splatoon 2 and all that types of stuff. Alright, good to know. Well, uh, I'll see you later. And, uh, yeah. That's all I gotta say. See you later. <sighs> what game, what game, what game? Hmm. Just, gosh darn old something. But, nothing's coming up in mind. Hmm. I mean, yes. Who's that in the background? Well, uh, what made you get into the whole Xbox One and that types of stuff? Because that's the thing that I wouldn't get into these days. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, yes, the Nintendo Switch is a wonderful console. But dang, there are so many cool games that are on the Xbox One that aren't on the Nintendo Switch yet. Yeah, it's kind of nice to play on them these days. It's kind of nice to be a bit more flexible and all that types of stuff. So, yeah, that's why I'm on here. Oh, well, okay. Hey, speaking of different games we played, remember of those weird FNAF games we played? 
you know, like the fan games or the original games, but mostly the clone games and all that types of stuff. You remember that? Whoa. Yeah. I do remember those times. They were, uh... Oh, they were pretty interesting. Although, I don't really know any other more of those games we could play, so... I don't guarantee we'll be playing any more of those. Unless there is a new one these days. But, I don't think there is. Wait a sec. Come on. It's gotta be something I can find. If there's anything I can find just around the internet, it's gotta be here somewhere. Alright. A, uh, uh, FNAF clown game. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now let's just see what's a popular one right now that I can play. If there's any new one at least, and it's actually playable. Let's see. Come on. Wait a second. Hold on. Have I seen this character before? <laughs> well, I know what we're going to be doing today. Welcome everyone to the Bendy Show. I am Bendy and today we're not playing Bendy and the Machine, but I can guarantee that we're going to play something very interesting to you viewers out there because we got a, uh, what I want to call, ahem, a old time Five Nights at Freddy's clone classic. Did, did that thing just seriously just get back into focus? It, it, you gotta do a better job with the camera, people. Come on. Ugh, okay. But, in all seriousness, a Five Nights at Freddy's clone classic that we got here today. That's right, folks. The one and only Five Nights at Candies. The very original one, but apparently remastered into this brand new, wonderful looking masterpiece. Well, I don't even know, because I've never actually played the games, but I've heard about them, I've seen about them, but the first one, the original, remastered, <laughs> I'm excited. Let's see what this has to offer us. Family restaurant looking for security guard on the night shift from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monitor can, oh, okay. I guess in some level, I'm not allowed to read that for whatever reason, but you know what, who cares? Ooh. Whoa, oh, wow, this... You have one new message. Yes, thank you for the new message. Hi, hello. I'm the junior manager here at the restaurant. I'm supposed to walk you through the job as our new security guard. From your resume, I can tell that you're already a well-experienced guard. What? But, you know, it's protocol, so I have to walk you through the basics anyway. What are these little... Oh, they got the little cords here. I don't know. We have security cameras all around the that. restaurant. And if you bring up the camera panel, you'll be able to view the feed from the camera by pressing the camera buttons on the minimap. Now, our lights are always off during the night. Obviously, because it'd be a waste of power to leave them on all night. So to mm -hmm. actually see something on the cameras, you can activate the camera system's night vision mode. What? You activate night vision by clicking on the button of whatever camera you're currently viewing. So for example, <gasps> say you want to see what's on camera one. Oh. Bring up the camera panel, you click on the button that says cam 01, and then to use night vision, you click on cam 01 again. Once night vision is activated, you can click on any of the other cameras and view them with night vision as well. Whoa. You turn it off the same way you turn it on. Now, night vision takes more power than regular vision, so make sure you use it sparingly. Your first priority as a security guard here is to keep an eye on the animatronics. Those are really expensive machines, and we do not want them sold. And you keep an eye on them through the cameras. We have quite a few animatronics here at Candies. There's of course the cats. Whoa. Candy, there's Chester the chimpanzee. There's the penguins. Just lots, I tell you. Uh, so lots, we'll you have say. Three security doors in your office, each of which can be closed by pressing the door button by each door. These are here in case you're in some sort of danger. But personally, I just use them to shut myself off from the world when I need a break. Uh, don't <laughs> let me be a role model on that one. You need to remember that closing these doors takes power, and the longer they're closed, the more power they drain. Oh. I know that sounds kind of backwards, but you have to trust me on that one. I think it's something about the doors having an automatic fail-safe feature in case the power gets Ooh. cut off, you know, so they open up if there's no more power. 
All I know for sure is that they do use more and more power the longer they're closed. So the longer? They don't want to keep them closed for too long at a time. Now, uh, the reason I keep mentioning the power is because the restaurant uses a backup power generator at night, which only has a certain amount of juice in it. So anything from viewing the cameras to using the security doors takes power. You can see how much power you have left on the computer on the desk in front of you. Try not to run yes, out of power. Yes, I see it. If you do, though, you won't be stuck in the office since the doors will always open up anyway. Oh, and uh, one last thing. The animatronics aren't completely turned off at night, so they might start walking around a bit. Oh. Just be careful not to let any of them into the office, because we have stuff in there we don't want damaged or anything. So don't bother with tickets to the door. They won't attempt to get in through there. Okay, uh, then. You you'll hear from me again on your next shift. Have a good night. Oh! Whoa, already he's moving. Whoa! Hey there, little buddy. How have you been, you little cat? You're you're a cat, right? Cause that, that's I'm assuming you look like I don't I can't imagine you guys being something other than cats. But this is interesting. I'm so far digging the uh, the mood, the uh, scentic of this. It's really nice. It's really different. It's really it's kind of a bit weird because every okay every time you move your mouse to the light or the left. It, for some reason, just decides to stay input with the room. It's like the mouse is actually it as a model in the room, rather than your actual mouse. Like, if I- you see me moving it, you see how it's always staying in this one position right here? That's what it- it, it feels a bit weird. So it only moves when you're at the edge. It can't just move to the edge and stick to the edge. You gotta actually work for it. But this is interesting. It's way more. Oh shoot! Where'd you? Oh wait. Oh, oh, that is pretty close. Does that mean I should start shutting my door the moment you get there? Does that mean I should keep looking out for you? Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay then. I'm gonna keep my eye on you, Mister. Or maybe I can keep an eye on this door, but how do I see if you're there or not? Especially since I there are no lights. And that is a spot that I can't see. And you'll be walking through there. And I won't see you. Well, thanks for answering me. <laughs> what? Oh! Hey, I think you're- Oh! Ooh, wait a second. Wait, is he there? Where, where'd he go? Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back to... Oh, hey, the little bar thing over there. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, hello there, Misty. I don't know why I called you Misty. But you know what? I think that... Oh, your name is Cindy. Oh, your name is Candy. Ah, <laughs> Silly me. Interesting, though. Although I don't really see the purpose of turning off the night vision. Because it feels like something that you actually might need. Or should I say, you actually do need if you want to see them. Even though... Wait. Hey. So is candy turned off for... Th oh, wow. Okay. Just as I open my mouth. He is gone. Oh, he's back on camera too, okay. So he leaves the stage. Wow, that's a pretty fast travel you got there, mister. I don't know how you travel that fast, but you know what? Uh, go ahead. Travel as fast as you need, buddy. Oh, it's 5, oh, it's 5 a.m., okay. I was about to say, like, the little numbers are kind of... Also, it's like 55% power, 5 a.m. You know what? I think... We are doing all right. Although, I'm interested in the fact that this consumes more power the longer it's closed. I'm pretty curious to see how that goes. How fast is the real question. Just sing, just a singular door. Red bar. Whoa. Hold up. That went from 54 to 50. Oh, wow, that consumes it. Okay. So that answers my question. That consumes it really fast. And you were at the... Wait a second. You're at the window. Should I have some concerns about that? You're at the... 
the window. But I don't see your light at the win- Oh, okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter since we just beat the knight. <laughs> Yay! Ooh, my goodness. Well, that was interesting. Loading feet. Whoa, what, what's going on? <laughs> Whoa. Well, this has gotten very interesting. Oh. What in the... Hello? Is that the puppet? But I don't know. It doesn't look like the puppet. I think if I remember, the puppet was all smiley. But no. He looks angry. I wonder why he looks so angry today. <laughs> Did I take his snack? Did I take a... I swear it might have been because I took something from him. I'm not even sure anymore. Ooh. Hi there, buddy. How have you been? Have you been a good boy? Or do you want me to turn to the right? I'll turn to the right, buddy. I'd ho! Oh! 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 Ooh. Okay, then. That was interesting. Uh, let's just. Just give me a sec, actually. Alright, let's continue to the second night, shall we? Let's get started. Well, that loaded up pretty fast. Or should I say very fast? You have one new message. Ooh. Hey there. I uh, put up a note today to gather some intel on the animatronics from the other employees. Yes. Uh, just to get a list of the um, issues we've had with them. They've written down some stuff here for you. So uh, let's see. All right. So obviously the animatronics walk around at night. You know that by now. Um... They try to get to places they shouldn't be. Uh-huh, yep. They act weird after dark. Yep. They don't like adults. Hmm. I mean, I suppose. They always seem nice around children. Well, what do around you mean you suppose? They just kind of stare at you. I always thought they just hadn't been coded to interact with anyone other than children. But some of the other employees have felt threatened by them now and then. But I know that some of them are also superstitious morons. So who knows if they just became scared when the animatronic looked at them in the eyes or something. Anyway, one last thing on the list here. The last penguin interferes with the system. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Uh, we have these penguin animatronics as waiters. Uh, they take people's orders and whatnot. We used to have three of them, but two of them broke down and haven't been fixed yet. Oh wow, well, that's a funny Is story. Referring to the third penguin that still works, or well, apparently it doesn't quite work. So yeah, definitely don't let him into the office. His presence alone could probably destroy our systems. Well, that'll be it for now. I'll be sure to leave another message for your next shift. Okay, can I talk now? Thank you very much. So for whoa, that w whoa, that was fast. Are you at my window, Missy? I really want. Oh, I don't. Whoa, what? Where... What? Where... Where'd you. Uh oh, uh oh. You're heading down uh, on my right again, just like Candy did. You're following his footsteps, apparently. But, uh. Oh, whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whoa there, Missy. Whoa. Wow, she is gone in a blaze of sound. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are m these uh, little friends are way faster than the animatronics that we all know and love. Oh, there's the penguin. I thought you were talking about the broken down penguins over here. No, you're talking about this cute little buddy. Oh, he looks so adorable. But what does he do? He says something about getting into. I don't. I don't understand. What does he do? Also, where did Candy go? That is a. Oh, okay, he's right there. Although, interestingly enough, Cindy didn't break through, didn't... Actually, kid, is that a window or some sort? It's not an opening, okay. But she didn't go through that window and just straight up attack me. She kind of just walked past it. So I'm assuming everyone will do the same. Unless there's an animatronic that breaks through my window in particular. Any one of you volunteers? Oh, where did the... 
Oh, 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 you're coming. Ooh, hey, hey, shut the door. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay. And you are already coming down that side. The penguin is getting really close. The chimpanzee is gone, I guess. Are you there, buddy? Are you coming down? There's the two of you. I guess I'm gonna have to keep my tabs on you, you little fellas. You better get the heck out of my sight. You don't know what an ink monster can do to you. Even though I'm just a little, a little cute little bendy. That, oh, hold up, he is down there. Oh. Ooh, hey, Cindy, you are, oh, wow. These guys are disappearing really fast and going in and out at the speed of sound. Like, oh my goodness. They are just very hyperactive on a second night, too. Oh my goodness. If I remember, wasn't these nights supposed to be really well, really swell, really chillax? And no, I'm going I'm gonna to I'm having to move around, trying to get a little bit of a workout with my hands, trying to figure out where they are. Oh boy, okay. She's down there. He's at my window again. Surprisingly, very fast. My goodness. That penguin moved. That chimpanzee moved again. Wait. Oh, I, okay. I thought I saw something out of the ordinary. Also, I should probably close that. Or open that. I'm sorry. What? Oh, wait a second. The penguin is... Wow. Oh, my... You guys are a little too fast for me. I'm gonna just... Actually, wouldn't they be in these four cameras around here that I need to keep watch of? Or should I say five? Otherwise, you guys should not be going anywhere. Except for you, chimpanzee. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Wait, what was that thing in the middle? I thought that was an office prop. Wait. That thing just dis Whoa, wait a second. What in the world? That thing is gone. Oh, oh. Ooh, oh, oh I thought he was at the door. I was just fooling myself, apparently. Ah, <sighs> okay. Little candy, little candy. Where are you going? Do you want to pop at my little door? Are you just creeping along? Oh, your friend is back. Again. For like, I don't know how many times at that point. Oh, now he's at the door. Okay. I might as well keep that shut. Is that the two of... Oh, or they could disappear like that. Okay. 5 a.m. We're doing okay. Multiple times where I'm pretty sure I could have died. But I think we are alright. Okay. That static is... Kind of giving me the swivels. Jeez Louise. Ah, okay. Man, you guys need to you guys need a chill pill. And I mean literally. A chill pill. It's only night two. And you guys should be pretending like you're not moving, but you're moving really, really fast. For a bunch of crazy animatronics. Actually, sleepy animatronics, should we say. Oh, what? Oh, you're out of Oh, he's coming at my left? Oh. So this little friend goes down both sides. That's not great. Uh. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, whoa. You get a little light over there. Jeez Louise, it kind of just forms. That's kind of... Jeez Louise. Oh. So wait, wouldn't that mean I could just look back and forth? Ooh. Ooh. Oh my me. That oh my days. Whew. Loading feet again. But what a night. Ooh. Oh. No video feet. 6 f four. What? Hello? I heard I think I just heard a bunch of kids. 
<laughs> Literally. Also, what is going on? What is that? Whoa. What? Oh. Whoa! Whoa! What is it? Oh my. What has happened here? Okay, on to the third night we go. This will be the last night before I just end off today's episode. Before, uh, I don't know. And maybe I'll even let you guys give me a chance to play this game again, because this is actually, this is actually quite a wild ride I'm having. <laughs> you have one or maybe until I die. Message. I don't know. Still here, I see. Awesome job these last two nights. You're already way better than our previous night guard. He didn't even stand two nights before he brought a wrench to his ship and tried to destroy one of our animatronics. Whoa. The animatronic in question is the blank character, uh, the one in the drawing room on uh, camera 11. I think. Yeah, I'm surprised he still works. And despite the holes and the fact that his left arm and the back of his head is missing, the kids still really like him. Anyway, ever since that day, blank's been acting almost more strange than the other animatronics. Like, among other things, he seems to have developed this fascination with getting into the office with the ticket. And I guess he can't see the glass or something. So yeah, uh, keep an eye on him. If you see him heading for the ticket booth, just shut the door in his face and then he'll find something else to do, I guess. Oh, and uh, by the way, ever since that new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closed last week, we've been getting more and more customers during the day. So next week, if you're up for it, we could use you on the day shift. Think it over. We'll talk later. So is this the ticket booth right here? If this is the- wait, hold up, if this is the ticket booth, what's with the doors? Is this just a safety precaution or my- I, uh, oh. Oh. Hello there, buddy. <laughs> Whoa. So wait, he gets- so is he the one that goes through the window? I guess so. Whoa, you guys are already approaching my door. Unless it's the thing where these knights go by br Ooh, hold up. Ah, okay. Uh... Let's see here. Oh, hey, 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 buddy. Oh, that one is op available to open. What? Oh. Ooh! What? <gasps> he broke through the window? He, oh, he broke, whoa, 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 oh, oh, whoa, <laughs> that was good, that was really good, whoa, <laughs> Wow! Woo! That was... Well, that was an interesting ride. Well then... Ahem. As I said before, I was gonna end off the show on either A, I complete the third night, or B, I die. Which I died, unfortunately. And, just in case, if you viewers want to see more of this Five Nights at Candies, or if you want this to be played by someone else on the show, let us know in the comments. And, um... Well then... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we got for you today. Five Nights at Candy's Remastered. If you enjoyed the show, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to Jared Gaming if you'd like for more of this wonderful show. Clearly, the best Bendy show, and the best show you'll ever get. For a gamer who's also an ink demon. I'll see you guys in whatever we do next. That's all, folks. See you guys and whatever we do next. Woo!